Hello everyone, how good of you to join and well, Station Milano main station where we are heading right now and stopping as we are with our latest train that is already also making some profit there and almost getting full all the time. So this one I'm hoping is paying off itself. So that was the grand investment of our last episode um, with that major tunnel that we have which is really taking ages. So I've just followed this um, train there and this tunnel is endless. It's much longer than I expected when I was building it, but while well, dragging a tunnel is easier than actually following one of these tunnels there. And we are traveling with 80 kilometers an hour. I think this train could go up to 100 kilometers an hour or something like that. Um, and as we can see, it's never ending. So this is actually a pretty cool um, path here for our high-speed trains then later on. So this actually makes sense to have some really speedy trains on this one here as we closing in on Hamburg there once again with this uh, beautiful train. Oh, there it's a bit bumpy, but other than that, it's fine. There's also some people waiting already. Gosh, I could watch this every day as we get into Hamburg main station here. This train now, yeah, we might need to expand it soon because I'm expecting it to become quite full rather sooner. What we have though is we have a problem here in Hamburg and that is um, there's not enough people waiting as we can see and what is the problem here? I think the buses are the problem. When we look around here on these uh, stations there, there is 56 people waiting um, via Highfield Road, so up there. Um, over here we have 28 people waiting and all of these people want to get to that main station up there um, and they can't because our buses are only can only carry eight people at the moment. So for the f uh, first of all, I want to check if we got some new buses available. Um, this one is eight people, this one is 11 people, so there's already a better bus available. The Daimler deck seat car that we could use for this one here. I could also have a tram. I'm not building a tram right now for Hamburg, so I'm hoping that the better buses there, now this one with 11 people that fit in, are squeezing in a few more people. Of course, it's paramount. It's paramount that we do get enough people to the main station there, right? It's absolutely impossible, uh, well, absolutely necessary because an empty train is way more expensive than an empty bus. And we want to keep the trains full at all times. So they're all leaving here, as we can see, and all flooding then to the main station, right? So that is a bit of a problem there. The cool thing about Hamburg is we have this very long road going right through the center. So a tram line would be possible here. I'm, I'm still waiting a bit, right? I'm still waiting. I think with the latest bus generation there, we can still compensate for that. Um, 16 are waiting and I think the trains are almost full there. Um, when they depart Hamburg and in Milano, I think we have a bit of the same problem, right? Do we? No, in Milano, it's not the same problem. Milano is just a very small town overall. Um, and there's not that much demand for big trains. So I think we're fine. This this line that we have there is making profit though, right? So I'm fine with that. It's also adding up then to the growth of these towns. Um, and we've also have made the foundation now for this one. Who? that's it, right? So that was a big one. The next one is the tools. As we can see, we also made the ship line now between Lyon and Paris, which is basically on the other side of the world. Um, where we have now these ships be uh, carrying then over the tools, right? There's 46 tons of tools now waiting. Mm, where's the ship for that? There's planks. There's planks. Tools. There it is. It's still taking its time, right? While this ship is here, I'm going to, I'm going to duplicate this one here once again, right? So the same ship is coming out now, um, and should be heading for Paris first. It is very nice. Um, because they're taking the turn to Paris first and then to Lyon. Um, so we have two ships on this line. I think the two ships will be fine for now. I'm not expecting much more. With that, another thing is happening. Ooh, so many thingies, right? We have now this Norwich tool factory. Um, and there we see that the shipment is still a bit low there and transport is also at 0%. Now, we want to upgrade these factories at some point and this can only happen when there is enough influx of raw materials. Like here, we are pretty full as we can see, but when there's also enough customers that can purchase these uh, tools. We have three customers available, Paris, Stockholm and Milano. Now, two of them are rather close by. So, uh, well, not close by. One of them is already in the line, as we can see. And the other one, Milano, would be then per train. And then we have a very good chance that we upgrade this factory there. We'll see about that, right? I might also be thinking some planes then later that travel or that will take these tools somewhere. We are still a bit further away from planes, though, as they're really expensive. 
I want to do something else in the meantime. I want to create up a new business opportunity for us. And I think I found one and that's this one here. There is this Yesvich oil refinery. And this one is also at the docks here. So we can very well have a cargo port here that takes the oil in some places, right? It's very hard on this map to find a refiner with oil close by. We have a refinery here, but there's basically no oil anywhere to be seen around this refinery other than one over there. And that's through thick mountains that I will never reach, right? So this is just way too expensive. We do have two refineries there, but no oil refinery close by. We do have two oil customers here so they want refined oil to make plastics and to make fuel out of that so this is really good having a port here where oil is being delivered to will be very powerful in the future i just need that refined oil and down here this one is pretty good why because we have two oil wells over there that are not so out of reach and both of them will not be so expensive i hope to create and this is exactly what we're doing now First of all, I would like to create a train, probably a, a terminus station for this one. I think a terminus station here makes sense because we're not going to deliver that refined oil anywhere else other than the other per ship them. Um, and for incoming trains, there's nothing coming from over here. And yeah, well, that's about it, right? So terminus station here is actually useful. It's going to have one track for now and we can add it right to this, um, well, refinery. And then we're going to have two terminus stations. One is going to be here and the other one is going to be for this well here. And both of them are going to have then trains. Of course, I'm not building both of them at the same time. We need to start with one. The cool thing is though, um, we can merge them together on one track then. So I only need to build one track really. Um, and these trains can use the same track then before I need to do anything else, right? So it's only going to be expensive once. Um, and once this one is laid out, it's going to be fine. So let's get ahead and build this one. We try to keep the top speed at all times. And this, since it's such a long train really, uh, a long track, this will also make the, the path then for us for building some massive trains massive trains that are going to have lots lots of cargo with them because we don't want to have such a long distance with a car empty or well not a full potential train there obviously we still maintain the 120 speed with this curve here right so our very important top speed and then we're going into this cargo station there and only at the very end do we see some dropping off in speed and that is totally fine and thus we have laid out this foundation here i think there's a tunnel yes we have built a tunnel wasn't very expensive though perfect so that's that this is actually it right and the other one from here can then really just merge with this track here um and then we basically use the same track for those two lines here now this one is looking fine and dandy um we might we, we will probably need more tracks here pretty soon because i'm expecting a good demand for that also, train depot, of course, rather somewhere in the middle. So whenever the train gets out, it takes a bit of time to get to the first station. So stuff can already build up in the meantime. What a beautiful country. Amazing looking there overall. So out there in nowhere, we have now this depot there. I just need the line for that. So this is going to be our first oil line, by the way, between Boulder Pass here in the mountains. There's the, the village of Boulder Pass that we completely neglected up to this point. By the way, there would be a fuel refinery over there, I know, but there is a huge tunnel in between. And then what would we do with that, um, with that oil there, right? There's nothing really close by other than that refinery. It's just, actually, this is not so bad. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, this oil refinery is pretty close, actually. Yeah, but look at the cost of these tunnels. If I want to build a train from there to there, it would cost me 60 million. Insane. That's the problem of these mountains there. Okay, so it's absolutely fine to not build it here. Eee. These costs are just astronomical. I would have to pay the same thing most likely through this mountain there. Yep, another 32 million just to get to that one here. It's just not going to happen. These mountains are way too tall for that. 
So we are, we are living with the flat lens here. It's cheaper, it's realistic that we make this one. So Boulder Pass, Lyon, we have. I mean, of course, this one over here would have been amazing because getting the oil to the refinery, the same train could take the oil to the fuel refinery, the same train could take the fuel to Boulder Pass and back to that, fuel, uh, to that oil well again. So later on, if we have enough money and we don't care about those tunnel costs anymore, this would be a pretty cool loop that we could create here, right? But it's just not going to happen for now, unfortunately. I'd rather go with this road. Um, so we have the, the line now. So this is oil one. We're going to have a couple of these. That's why it's better to call it oil one. Uh, I just need to have a train. We have nine million. It's going to be a pretty big train. So I'm, I'm expecting that the crocodile here is profitable. Though six million. Let's borrow some more money. Right, this is the train of all trains, the mother of all trains that we had so far. The crocodile, and it's going to have these tank cars here, right? 80 kilometers an hour it can go. The crocodile can go 75 kilometers, so it's okay. Okay, -ish, and that's the capacity. And let's just have a look. All right, 126, 135. Well, that this cost us quite a lot. Flying Scotsman, a new locomotive, and the Dornier Mercure, another plane. We should really be using those planes soon. There is coming out our first electrical train there, by the way, as well. It's beautiful, it's wide, it's not that loud anymore, and it's long, but it's still not long enough, of course, as it's making way, and it's one huge one. I really wonder if this is going to make us profit. I'm going to add more cars once we can afford them. It's going to need all of them, of course. And it's a very, very long train now into the mountain area. This is also pretty cool, going into the mountainous area there. As we can see, oil is starting to pile up, and I think this train is already going to be pretty full. So the first train is coming in with 126 barrels of oil. How much do we make out of that one? 2.6 million in this hole here. All right, sounds a lot, but we shouldn't forget that this train has a long distance ahead of it again before it comes back. So we'll just see if this is really going to turn out worth it. Um, meanwhile, we have 190 now piling up. So there's definitely, definitely the demand for that. Let's, let's, well, let's edit this one here to add a few more of these tankers until it's almost mediocre. Oh boy, holy cow, 234 capacity. We could actually still continue. It's still good, right? Let's not do this much though. So 200, I think, will be fine. Let's make this train longer. 22 cars now. Holy cow, what a train, really. This is pretty long now. And this is still far from being over, right? So I think we're going to see here one of the longest train ever that we've seen. We could even add another locomotive then in the middle. Um, and then, once again, a lot of cars to that. It's all possible. Nothing here is limited when it comes to our creativity of making prints as long as possible. Now, there it's coming, uh, 198, it can carry 300 tons of weighting. So there is the possibility of having even more. And this is where this locomotive becomes profitable because of its huge, long holes that it can make uh, with high speeds. I love the locomotive, the crocodile, as it's called. So how much do we get this time here? 4 million. We almost doubled our profit that we made out of this train, and I'm pretty sure that from now on this one is profitable. It's taking a long time to get from one point to the other one, but 4 million almost that for one hole, that's going to be worth it. Um, and we does do have enough money again to make this train longer. How many more can we add? Ah, there's the end now, right? So we can still add a couple more to get to capacity of 250. Um, another 2.5 million, we can afford that. And this is now officially the longest train um, on the planet, at least for now. Very good. And this one is getting the job done. Now, there is 350 tons waiting, of course. And then we still have this Yesvich oil refinery that is now refining oil. Now, we still need, of course, another cargo port. And it's probably one of the last ones because we need to face it. Uh, we, we are getting quite a problem then over there, right? Here in this channel when there's so many ships passing through then all the time. It's 
definitely getting a bit messy there. Um, we also still need to think about the passenger ships. I'm definitely not going to use this area, but rather this one here, also because of the bridges, right? For passengers, if I want to use a huge ship, I'm definitely not going to let it pass through those bridges. We already have the cargo, the, the port up here for Paris. Or oh, actually, wait a second, for that one here, not Paris, we wanted this one for our shippies. There we have our port. So we can squeeze it in, as we can see. We can reach both of them. Very good. And that's basically it. We already built the next ship line. We are just going to have now a new line. Holy cow, there's lots of them. From Lyon East to, I think, Paris West. It's actually Paris West. <laughs> How hilarious. We are west of Paris. So this is turning out to be fine. And this is oil, uh, refined oil. Let's call it refined oil one. Basically, I don't know why I write this one to it. Perhaps because we will have several of these might be happening. Very good. So the only thing we now need for uh, this line here is managed vehicles. And we're going to add now a couple of these to the refined oil. Um, and we have special chips for that. Down here, Schaffhausen. Nope, it's Sor Raster. And it's the Vandal. Both of them can only carry fluids, more or less, that we have. This one, of course, is the ship to go, 130 capacity. It has, it's a more modern version. And let's put this one on the refined oil ship line. And ladies and gents, the Vandal. The first oil tanker of the century coming out here now in all its majesty. And I hope that by the time it reaches this one, we have enough oil then in store. Right now, there's nothing. Um, I think we still need... Yep, we don't have any oil stored right now. So that train here brings the oil already. And I wonder if I get now the second train on the track here. I wonder if this would hurt the production of oil and this one here. If I have two oil wells being connected then. This is something that we still need to figure out. In the meantime, the first tool transportation to Paris was successful. We made 1.4 million out of that one here. That ship was already pretty deep red though. So 900,000 it still stands. It's losing like 11k per quarter, I think. Um, so it's still yet to determine if this is a profitable line. If it's not completely profitable, it's still fine because in Paris, with the tool delivery, we're boosting the population now here. So as we can see, supply that we have it, 16 of 91 tools were delivered um, and we have plus 20 out of this one here. So with that, we can boost now another city um, out of its slumber um, into something more profitable than for us in the future for trains and stuff like that. So that's at least something, if it's not completely profitable. It's also, by the way, the first goods that were now be being delivered to a city. So with that, we have started supplying those cities. The fuel that we make out of here, of Far Rapids, we might deliver then to some places as well, like London. London is getting its own airport anyway at some point, and then we can not only deliver passengers here, but also then the fuel. Uh, and as we can see, oil is now piling up thanks to the latest shipment. We do have a hundred. Yeah, we have two ships on this on this trading then. I think we'll need more ships. <laughs> Way more ships. What I can also see is that this ship is, uh, this train is just leaving the station with 250 tons. And there's another 300 tons waiting already. So it might actually be, yeah, the question if that is enough. This crocodile, uh, when I first thought it would be overkill, is actually not enough to transport all the oil there. So making this a parallel track is pretty important. We do have two trains that are losing money now because they're so old and their uh, condition is so bad. And it's those guys here, the grain transportation. What I can also see is that we don't have enough grain here being transported anymore. That could be though because these trains are old and thus the factories don't produce enough. So I'm going ahead here, manage those vehicles. And we're just going to completely replace them with the new cards that we have. And since this is a very short one, I'm also going to use... Oh boy, there we have the Flying Scotsman. The maintenance cost would kill us. It's even more expensive than the Crocodile. But we have this bad boy there. The bad, it's actually called. BR bad. Um, and this one is going to deliver then the green. Not that much, most likely. There it is. For two trains, though, by the way, we are paying now 7 million. Um, let's actually sell one of them. And I'm only going to replace one. And the other one is being sold. Because I'm not entirely sure that we don't really need that much of it. 
Um, and this one here, we can still add more grain than hopefully it's still mediocre. That would be fine. Right, so it's 13 cars now on that. And perhaps this one recovers again. And if not, then we'll probably need to slow down here. I think demand is going down or production is going down because we're not, you know, taking off the food that is being produced here in the food processing plant. That might be something. Could I reach that with a port? Unfortunately, I can't, right? I can't reach the food processing plant. That would be amazing. Other than that, we would need a, a truck system here delivering the food to the cargo uh, to the docks and then from there down here for example to Lyon. Now when it comes to deciding between the two food processing plants I would definitely go for this one here the Mouville food processing plant. I think we're going to have our very first airport here pretty soon because we also have four fields four farms close by that could supply us with the grain um, and from here we could then process the food throughout the world and you know ship it throughout the world to Lyon to Salzburg to Paris wherever it's needed to all the consumers by the way uh, that basically are needed from this one I think this is a new business opportunity that we're seeing here right now and I can't wait for finally using the planes on that as well stay tuned <laughs>